Hey guys, it's day 210 of our deep water culture super hot pepper grow. And I'm trying to get the camera set up to give this bad boy justice with how big it actually is. But I just got done measuring it and it is 56 inches tall. So <laughs> I'm blown away by how big this thing is. It's almost getting too big. If you remember a couple videos ago, I decided that I was going to stop trimming it, hang the light from the ceiling, and just see how big it would get. Well, it is continuing to get huge. There's peppers everywhere. There's flowers everywhere. And this thing is literally going through five gallons of water every three days. So what I think I'm going to do is get one more big harvest of peppers off this thing, and I'm going to retire it. If you've seen in the other videos, I have several clones from it growing in our greenhouse right now and I'll actually have an update video from the greenhouse in a couple days but the peppers that are in the greenhouse even though they're from the same plant look way different I feel than what the peppers on here do but we're still trying to figure out for sure what these are and pretty much a lot of people have said they're either habaneros uh, Panamanian reds uh, Caribbean Reds, um, but not Carolina Reaper like we thought. And I still am holding out hope that, you know, like this is the first huge wave here, but the, the clones, they look so much different. And like I said, we'll have that in the video in the next couple days of what those are looking like. But cut it short and sweet. I want to take some clones from the Chocolate Bootla and the peach ghost pepper and do a bigger grow down here with a light and a recirculating deep water culture system. So let's go on in and take a look at this bad boy. So as you can see we have peppers everywhere. Good shape. Beautiful red color. And some of these are pretty right. And take a look at the bottom there. It almost kind of reminds me of some scotch bonnets I've seen. Heading over here. But, yeah, so you get the gist. There's, <laughs> there's peppers everywhere. Flowers everywhere. And it's gigantic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to pick some of these peppers put them on the table and we'll take a closer look at them. Alright, so I harvested quite a few. Let's take a closer look at some of these. Here's the bottom, here's the side. I mean I can smell the heat on them. They almost all look the same. They either have three or four lobes or whatever you want to call it around here. They're a little bumpy but nothing too crazy. They're uh, smooth and yeah, they pretty much all look like this. So, keep going. I'm quite certain they're not a habanero. I mean, from all the habaneros I've seen in the stores and pictures online, they look like I, they could be, I don't know, I'm, <laughs> I feel terrible because I'm not sure. But if you have any input on what they are, let me know. Like I said, I have a video of me eating one of these. Um, I just don't want to quite post it until... I can figure out almost for sure what they are and we'll see what the greenhouse ones look like. So like I said, we'll do one maybe two more updates on this plant and I'm going to put her to rest and we'll start the new, the next adventure. As always, like us, subscribe, check out our other videos and if you have any questions, put a comment below or send me a message and we look forward to the next video. Talk to you later.